the government officials are supposed to safeguard the interests of even those who hold opinion that is contrary to the majority of people. Even those who have a different opinion than that of the government should be given an ear. Otherwise, would we be any different from Leopold II or Gaddafi? In our country also, we have an opposition party that keeps a check on the functioning of the ruling party. In Belgium, equal opportunities were given to Dutch and French speaking people in the central government. Both the communities were permitted to take part in the decision making. Special status was given to the city of Brussels in which both communities had equal representation. A special government known as community government was elected by the people to look after the cultural, educational and language related issues. These arrangements worked well in Belgium and helped in settling civil disputes between the two communities. In Sri Lanka, majority were the Sinhala speaking people, minority were the Tamil speaking people. Government followed the majoritarian principle of democracy. Sinhala was made the official language. The Sinhala applicants were favored for jobs. Gradually, the Tamil speaking Sri Lankans were alienated by the government. The Sri Lankan Tamils started demanding a separate state, Tamil Elam for Tamils, which took shape of the civil war and gave rise to a militant group, LTTE, Liberation Tigers of Tamil Elam. Prior to the civil war, Sri Lanka had an excellent record of economic development, but the civil war caused a setback to the social, cultural and economic life of the country.